Welcome to another edition of Popcorn Bucket List. This is part two of our Oscar special. If you missed part one, go back and watch part one. What are you doing here? Yeah, this is Oscar's Endgame. This is no, this is this is Oscar's the Zack Snyder cut because the there's just going to be multiple cuts. We're going to have like six more parts after yeah, this. Yeah, can't wait. Probably not. We're not going to do that. There'll be one uh, where each of us win. <laughs> It's just an alternate. We're going to have the nightmare version yeah, where yeah. you win, and then we have the epilogue where I win or yeah. something like that. I don't know. But, yeah, basically, for those of you who did watch part, part one last week and are here to catch up, uh, we presented or I, I presented a challenge to my friend here. We were going to bet on or we're going to make picks, basically, on who we thought was going to win in each category in the Oscars. Having seen almost none of the Oscar contenders. Almost, almost. We saw a few. Yeah, just a couple. I had a whole plan out my week last week after I threw down the gauntlet. I was like, this is going to be the most efficient way to catch all of them. I was going to have all these double features on certain streaming services. I had it all mapped out. I got sick 10 minutes after watching Mank. Not connected to the movie, by the way. Just completely <laughs> separate. Got sick. And it threw my whole week off. Yep. Yep. That'll do it. So at this point, we do not know each other's points totals. We're waiting. In fact, we decided we were going to reveal... The punishments that we had for each other, because the loser gets punished in a movie-style fashion on uh, what what we decided, so that way we know the true stakes here. Yes. The big stakes. Big stakes. Big stakes. Yep. New York Strip. Yep. All right. Why don't, why don't you go first? What, what do you <sighs> have in store for me? All right. So, as you all know, my friend Nick, great movie guy. However, he has never seen the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Never. I, I would understand. I would understand if you saw one, you saw it through one time or two times, or didn't see the extended versions, but saw the regular versions. So my punishment for Nick, it's kind of a two parter. Also, we uh, we are very um, have differing opinions on. Um, oh, I don't even remember her name. Daisy Ridley's character in Star Wars. Ray Palpatine. Ray Skywalker. Ray Palpatine. Skywalker. He thinks she's a Skywalker. I I, know. I watched the movie and know she's a Skywalker, but whatever. I'm sorry. I'm interrupting you. Yeah, Cont continue. Please. Please. Yeah. You'll get your time. Okay. Uh, what was it? Please, Mr. President or Mr. Vice President? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Oh, but if you say Palpatine again, I'll be you. Yeah. No, don't do that. So Ray P. <laughs> oh, that's how <laughs> we can't say that. We can't say that. He so, found a loophole. He found so, a loophole. Okay, so Ray, um, I looked at uh, Halloween costumes. Um, so I did decide if I win, Nick will be dressing up as Ray Palpatine, wearing or er, and watching the three Lord of the Rings movies. That will be his punishment. I don't he, know why you're making me dress up for like a private showing. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's it's the moral. It's 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 how what I want. I want you to sit there and knowing you're not Ray Skywalker because that's not a real character. You are Ray Palpatine, and that's what that's what I want. Just have to bask. All right, in you, it. yours is a two two part thing. Yep. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take I'm gonna take one. I'm going to add a little something as like a two-part thing that are completely separate. But okay. since you did that, I'm going to do that right, for your punishment right. as well. All right. Um, I, I looked to, for inspiration here, I, I approached uh, a family member of yours, someone who should who loves you and truly knows you <laughs> um, as a family member. And I Love asked them. Love is a them, very loose term. I, I, I asked them, how should I punish you? And they came up with a list, a whole lot of things here. Some of them are pretty cruel. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> I decided family. not to go with those. <laughs> <laughs> so, to continue the tradition of uh, sort of just to make you, I'm going to make you say something on air here. But there's also going to be a little bit of a physical punishment too. It's a okay. two part punishment as well. All right. All right. How, this is this is the part your cousin came up with. Make you go play golf as Happy Gilmore, like the way he swings for nine okay. full holes. Okay. But you cannot tell people it's a prank if asked. Okay. You have to uh, uh, legitly try, try and go through nine holes playing like Happy Gilmore. Hmm. Am I playing by myself? Or uh, I'm going to find me? other people. I don't okay. play golf, but I'm going to make sure you, you get morally 
down in your point score. <laughs> Degraded. Uh, yeah, you can't just be by yourself. You gotta compare it to something. Okay. okay. I'm gonna make sure you have someone else to play against because okay. then it's not really punishment. But also, I want you to say on camera that Brie Larson is your favorite movie star. And you, you love all her movies. You just have to say it once. I just gotta say it one time. On camera, on the next episode. Like so, like in real life? Yes, in real what what are you what are you gonna animate Ooh. yourself doing it? This will be tough. Yeah. That's gonna be really tough. Yeah. Well, so is getting my fat body in a Ray Pal <laughs> Ray Skywalker outfit. It's gonna be great though. It's gonna be great. <laughs> oh my. All right. Wow. So those are our punishments. Um we still don't know who's won yet. No. Should we find out? So are we gonna like count? So I'm gonna I'm gonna do or? <laughs> Ooh. You think so? I was just gonna do a three, two, one thing, but like, should we do like this is the thing that like sometimes I've seen people do like at a camp or something whenever they have like points. Like we keep our hand up, and then as soon as you no longer have that points total, you put your hand down. Put your hand down. All right. Yeah. Okay. So hands up. Zero points. Right. One point. Right. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, no! seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, baby. You got 15 right? I got 15 right? right. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you. I got five right, and I thought I did good. <laughs> I got for the first five right in a row, and I thought I was doing good. Are you kidding me? I check my, You can check it if you want. You can Malarkey. check it. I trust you. I trust you. Can you can check it if you want. Now, look, I'm only going to take partial credit because only some of these actually were, like, thought was put into them. Yeah. Maybe a third of them, I guess. A lot Jeez. of them were just kind of me, like, kind of gauging what people were saying and just kind of like, all right, yeah. I think this is where we're at. Okay. Uh, so uh, I look forward to uh, seeing you on the golf course, my friend. Yeah. That's and I don't have to watch Lord of the Rings. We can still watch that. After. Uh, no, it we're not gonna. Be, no, we're not gonna. Okay, first, I Brie Larson. Why does that name sound familiar? You don't have to do with this episode. I know, but I, I don't even know who that is. You know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> but uh, let's talk about some of the other surprises. Uh, some of the things that came up. Um, I, I had a chance to watch the full broadcast. I know you saw some recaps and stuff yep, like that. So some you know recaps, some. Yeah. You know some of the main things. Um. But yeah, like I said, honestly, I did not feel confident going into this because I had not seen a lot of them, unfortunately, partially because of, I got my momentum was thrown off early last week. Yeah. Yep. I only got 15 minutes into bank and I just, my stomach was, I was like, <laughs> it was so bad. I th like, I thought I had been sitting there watching for a lot longer than I had been. So like when I got 20 minutes into the film, I thought I was over halfway and I was like, okay, I'll just power through. Like, how far am I? I saw, I clicked on it and it said 22 minutes. Hour 30 left. I was oh. like, nope, I'm not doing this tonight. I'm done. I'm I, went, done. I went to bed. I watched Avengers Endgame until I fell asleep. And then <laughs> that was it. Um, but, yeah, I have felt pretty confident. First five, I got five right in a ray, right away in a row. Yep. Uh, so I felt pretty uh, confident. But the one of the big ones early on that I really felt confident that I was going to get a point, uh, Daniel Kaluuya winning Best Supporting uh, Actor, for me, was not a big surprise. Uh, his speech, I don't know if you saw the speech. If you hadn't seen the speech, we won't talk about it, but it got it was one of the funnier speeches. Is that where he talked about his parents? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see, yeah, I saw that one. For those of you who saw the Oscars or saw the clip afterwards, yeah. it was one of the he, funniest moments in he Oscars. Thanked, he thanked his parents for he thanked his, parents, his entire right. life and nine months before it. <laughs> it's the, the clean way to put that, right? <laughs> That's the cleanest way <laughs> we could put that, yep. Yeah. That is That is right. Oh, that's um, the, one of the things we talked about, I want to talk to you about best picture because we did the two pick thing. Oh, I'm curious. What were you two, your two picks? Shoot. Well, I only picked one. <laughs> I forgot. What that I, was your but, idea. I know, I know. But hear me out. The second one I would have picked was not the winner. Okay. What was the first one you picked? Sound of Metal because I saw that. Yep. And then the second one was The Father. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, just that. Uh. Yeah, my my first pick ended up being the winner, Nomadland. Uh, my second pick pick would have been Judas and the Black Messiah. Yep. So, but honestly, from what I've heard, any one of those could have won. Yep. And that that was the hard part. I'd only seen uh, the Sound of Metal, so it was 
And I was really pulling for that. That's why I lost a uh, leading role. I went with uh, Sound of Metal. And see, you. And then my number two, my number two was Chadwick Boseman. And he I want to, I want to talk about, do you want to talk about the best actor category? Do you want to talk about the ending of this show? Because I saw the whole ending of this show. And I'm curious what see, you thought from what I, you've I, read and everything. I just heard that it was controversial. I don't know. So I think what happened was. A lot of times with the Oscars, I guess it's nothing is ever set in stone, but a lot of times they save the best picture for last. That's the mm-hmm. finale. This year they didn't do that. They did best picture, then best actress, then best actor. I have a feeling, and this is totally just my opinion, I guess. Yeah. I have a feeling a lot of the producers of the show and everyone, because nobody knows the winners except for the accounting firm that counts all the votes. Yeah. So I have a feeling a lot of people, including myself, and I'm assuming including you, thought Chadwick Boseman was going to win mm-hmm. for best actor. And everyone thought this would be a great way to end the show. What a touching memorial. What a touching moment and everything. Mm-hmm. Best actor was the final category, and in comes with the upset... <laughs> Anthony Hopkins. Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> who wasn't even there. <laughs> who wasn't even there. Didn't have a, an uplink or anything. Like some, like there were foreign filmmakers. There were people who couldn't get there. They had like Zoom calls, whatever yeah. you want to call it, Skype, whatever. Even he didn't have that. Yeah. So literally the end of this award show was, I can't even remember who presented it now. Joaquin Phoenix. Was it Joaquin Phoenix? I think so. I think. Yeah, I no, I think you're right. You're right. It was Joaquin Phoenix. Um, it was basically Joaquin Phoenix just standing there being like, and the best actor goes to Anthony Hopkins. And then he basically was like, the Academy accepts this award on behalf of Anthony Hopkins. And then it cut to a wide shot, and that was basically the end of the show. It It was it. Yeah. It was the most anticlimactic thing ever. It was. Um, And especially considering how I think a lot of people just assumed Chadwick was going to get it. Yep. But uh, that's uh, not what ended up happening. No. So, uh, Yeah, yeah, I heard there were people a little... A little upset about a little that salty. one. Yeah, a little bit. Is that what the kids say? Salty? I've heard that, and I've heard spicy. Spicy. I don't get that, but something. Yeah, a little spice there. But, um, yeah, so it was it was an interesting show overall. Um, what were the other ones you picked right, so or the, some of the ones that you didn't get right? The other right? ones I got right. Directing for Nomadland. Yep, I got that one too. Um, original song. I looked up some of those songs, and I yep. liked that. Um, animated short film, shot in the dark. That one might have been the easiest pick. <laughs> I ever. saw. If anything happens, I love you, and I thought, that's it. <laughs> and I just boom. Um, and then visual effects, tenant. Now mm-hmm. I'm kind of kicking myself for, um, where was it? Oh, sound was it editing? Oh yeah. Um, was that the one you didn't pick Sound of Metal yeah, on? Yeah, that's the one I didn't pick Sound of Metal on. I don't know why. I just, I don't know why. You I had a strategy, like, and then you yeah. divulged it for one time, and it would have gotten yeah. you one extra point. Because, I mean, I picked, uh, is it Riz or Raz? Uh, I think it's Riz Ahmed. Riz, okay. I picked him for actor. Yeah. I picked Sound of Metal for a couple things, whatever. Uh, but you didn't pick that, him yeah. for editing. I didn't pick him for editing. Yeah. Oh, well. Live and learn. Yep. Uh, that one point wouldn't have changed much. Yeah. <laughs> I was just trying to make you feel better, buddy. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Um, but, yeah, let's let's run down some of the biggest winners here. We mentioned this last week. There really wasn't a huge front runner, mm. and I think this will prove it here. Again, my plan was to only talk about, like, the top three, but uh, there was, like, a six-way tie for second. Again, just like last week when I was only going to talk so, about the top five nominations. So who got three? Nomad? I was going to do it oh. as a build-up. and d- oh, just oh. Uh, let's, Record scratch. And then we'll rewind. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> but, yeah, so there was uh, many movies tied uh, for with two awards. Let's run some of those down. Uh, one of them was The Father. Uh, best Adapted Screenplay was the other one. And, as we mentioned before, Best Actor with Anthony Hopkins. I imagine... That Anthony was asleep at this award, at, at this what point time, in the award. What time was it? This would have been like 10, 15, oh, something yeah. like that. Sleeping. He's, I think he was over still in the UK or something like that. Oh, he's sleeping. And so I find it hilarious. This is just my imagination that he woke up that morning with texts of like, hey, by the way, you won Best Actor. Congratulations. <laughs> he's just like, he's like in his slippers and his robe like, huh. 
and he did he did end up releasing a video i believe at the time of this this morning uh saying like i honestly didn't think i was gonna get this but uh i guess i should thank the academy or whatever and kind of seemed like he was just doing it just to do it yeah but i i think even he was like um i maybe shouldn't have won this but yeah. whatever i guess i did yeah Another one that won two awards, Judas and the Black Messiah. I mentioned Daniel Kaluuya winning Best Supporting Actor, and it also won for Best Original Song. Um, also, with two awards, uh, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, which is a Netflix show or movie. You can see that on Netflix currently. Um, one for Best Hair and Makeup and one for Costume Design. I'm really surprised it didn't win uh, Best Actress. It really seemed like Viola Davis was going to be the one... Uh, to get that one there. Uh, who did you have for Best Actress? Because I'm trying to remember who I had. Because I can't remember if I won that one or not. Frances McDormand? You had Frances McDormand? Yep. Who uh, we'll beat. mention later did actually end up getting it. So, yeah, you uh, ended up with it there. I'll take I'll take that W. Uh, also, with two awards, uh, your favorite here, uh, Sound of Metal. Uh, best Editing, we already mentioned. Awesome. For some reason, you didn't pick. That was the one you didn't pick. <laughs> But the other one also was kind of a no-brainer, brainer, best sound. Yeah. This was kind of one of those that you didn't really yeah. have to do much research. Kind of felt like... Yeah, where did I... Uh... You, you got sound in oh, the title. I... Should win for best sound. You know what I put? Greyhound. For best sound? Yeah. You, I was you thinking... missed out on that one too? I know, because I was thinking... Uh... War movie. So, so every have... time you picked Sound of Metal, it didn't win. And every time it did win, you <laughs> did. didn't pick it. Yeah. That's like me when I picked the Cleveland Browns in my family's pick them game. <laughs> every time last year, last season, every time I picked them, they didn't win. And then every time I didn't, they did. They did. Every time. Yeah. Yeah. I just. Sound pers- of Metal is your Cleveland Browns. Yeah. Because I don't have Apple TV or whatever the Apple thing is that Greyhound came out on. Yeah. And. I remember it's like Tom Hanks, war movie, and I always love, I really enjoy watching war films. You can get great sound, and that's kind of, I was like, oh, Greyhound, war movie. I think think Dunkirk won for sound because of the war noises and everything that they they immersively experienced, too. So I can can actually see where you're coming from. And also, Sound of Metal, half the the movie is quiet. (laughs) It's quiet. (laughs) Which is why it wins for best sound. It's genius. Um, also with two awards, Soul, which is Disney Plus. Also, I should mention Sound of Metal is on Amazon Prime. You don't have to rent it. That's a Prime membership thing. I feel like I should mention that. Yep. But Soul won for Best Animated Feature. Again, one of the easiest picks you could have made over the night. And Best Original Score, which uh, given how this is such a jazz-centric, very music-centric movie, makes sense as well. And then finally, one of the other ones that was tied with two awards was Mank. Uh, once again, uh, I think this should be worth mention, was one of the most nominated movies. Didn't win in really any of the big categories, none mm-hmm. of the acting. The biggest one I think you could say was cinematography. Yep. Um, the other one it won was best production design, which I think also makes sense. The Academy loves it when they get transported to old Hollywood. So Yeah, they do. They really that like seemed that. Like, that seemed like that was my... Yeah. See, that was one of the ones I put a little thought in. I got to make a confession for animated feature film. I picked Onward, just what? Because you thought it. Oh, you thought it was Soul was the too easy answer, and you thought yeah, you maybe get a leg up. Well, and I was hoping I was rooting for Onward because there's a couple of things in there that reference like Norse mythology. Oh, you and do love I your Norse. I really enjoy that you stuff. Do love your Norse. And yeah, and it was. It was. Just I can like, see what you. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of thought about doing that too, but then I thought, what if I? I'd rather have the point. Yeah. So I, I almost thought about that too. I thought about doing that with uh, Wolf Walkers. Was another nominated one. I thought about picking that one. But was that the animate? Yeah, the that sh- was one of the animated yeah. ones. But uh, the quote-unquote big winner of the night was Nomadland. Uh, This is a Hulu movie. It's not on Hulu right now. Uh, Best actress, best director, best picture. Um, That's the trifecta right there, especially for this movie. Like, that's the big three. Mm -hmm. And it took all of them. So I think uh, well-deserved there. Yeah. That's what happens when you look for the, what was it, three... Three billboards outside of Montana, Missouri. I are you are you trying to be clever right yeah, now? Yeah, this is what happens after that movie. Oh, that's right. That's <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, she. I thought you were trying to make a pun 
about the three billboards being the three awards. No, no, no. I thought you were making like a dumb dad joke no. or something like that. Okay. Where do dads keep their dad jokes? I'm just going to cut this. I hope you know that. In the database. So, uh, yeah, Nomadland won. This guy lost. I lost I'm the lot. champion. I lost a lot. Yeah. I should probably get some golf clubs. Yeah. I have some. Yeah. Well, that. They're not mine. Let's you, could, you could borrow some, maybe. Too. Yeah, yeah. I don't care whose you use, but I'm gonna be there to to watch you fail. I'm gonna wear some like sweet '90s clothes too. And I'm gonna. I'm oh, gonna... I have a kilt. Should I wear my kilt? No, don't wear the kilt. That'd be pretty. I think I'm gonna wear the kilt. And he's gonna wear the kilt. This is gonna end up more of a punishment fun. for me, isn't it? Yeah. Just, just please promise me you'll have something on under the kilt. Yeah. Okay. Good. I can wear my kilt when I do the the other thing too. What? The other thing with Brie Larson. I don't care what you, you... We only shoot you from, like, the waist up. That's all right. Most of the time. I can still wear it. You can, I guess. Yeah, this is America. Yep. What are we doing anymore, man? I don't know. I just feel So bad. this was the Oscar special. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was pretty special. Well, that's going to do it for us here on this episode of Popcorn Bucket List. Thank you so much uh, for watching. Uh, check out all these great movies if you have the chance. We mentioned a few. These are on streaming services. Hopefully, some of the big ones will end up in theaters too, like we kind of yeah. mentioned last week, and it'll be a good take. Take Frances McDormand's advice. One of her big things during her speech was watch these in a theater if you can. If you feel safe, bring your friends, support the theater, She's watch a- these great storytellings she's a uh, another movie theater advocate and that's yep. what we need more of and then howl at the moon like she did yeah i saw that too and i was like oh that was kind of cool maybe though. she was a uh, what was it moonwalker is that the name of that other movie wolf walkers wolf walkers maybe she's part of that too you, you missed you had you had a 50 50 chance there <laughs> i knew it was to something get the one of them right moon and- wolf and walkers that's kind of what it was in my head <laughs> Uh, For myself and Ryan Meyerberg, we'd like to thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you at the movies.